Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing an updates video. I'm gonna go through some of the things that I recently picked up, tried out, and give you guys my updated thoughts. But if you are looking at this eye right here thinking, I really wanna see that, don't worry, I filmed it, and good news, it's already up. <laughs> I did a collaboration called the Denona Darlings with a bunch of my friends here on YouTube, so if you would like to see this as well as all of theirs, I will leave the link to this video down below, which has the links to all of their videos as well. Anywho, let's go ahead and jump into some makeup. For some reason, that just clicked in my brain so oddly. I am picturing myself literally jumping into makeup, like jumping into a palette. <laughs> I don't know why that came across. Anywho, back to my original thought process. I'm gonna start off with the Guerlain lipsticks. I've gotten a few people asking me, how do I feel about these? Do I still like them? Yada, yada, yada. They weren't in my favorites. And the only reason why they aren't in my favorites is because it wasn't something that I used enough during the month to really claim them as my favorite. I have to say though, that the packaging on these are killer, killer, killer. So I think that this is the only one that comes with a sleeve. Otherwise, <laughs> I'm missing this one, but I have a feeling that the sleeve came with this one because of the crystals. This is the one that you guys saw in my get ready with me. However, I told you that I did not get the deep pink lip that I was waiting for and I finally got it so I switched it out. It was the nude in here but now it's the red. Ah, all right, packaging. All right, I've already talked. This is so pretty, so pretty. But this is the color. Oh my gosh, and I don't even know what it's called. I'll leave it linked down below so you guys know. But do you see this? It's so pretty, it's so pretty. I'm gonna do a little swatch for you. There you go. You have to swipe this one more than just once. So like that, can you see the difference between the two? That's the one thing, like it's just not a true matte, so you gotta build it up just a little bit, but the color is stunning. I love bright colors like this. I was expecting it to be a little deeper, but I'm not mad at it. It's really, really pretty, and the, the case, like I said, is gorgeous. Now this is the case that you guys did not get to see because I had this case and not this lipstick, but I had this lipstick and not this case. I think this is number one, it's in the number one or number four, I don't remember. Again, I will leave it linked down below because it doesn't say, I don't think, am I missing it? Oh, it does, okay, hold on. So the pink one, there's like this tiny little thing right here. Number 61 is the pink one. You have to get it in the like the perfect light to be able to see that. It's almost impossible. Okay, and this is the nude number number one. I was right, I remembered that one correctly. But this is the case that I got to go with it because I just felt like it was fitting. So here is the nude, swatch that one for you. There it is right there. And then this is the case that I got for it. It has like a crocodile leather kind of texture to it, which is really cool. And I thought it looked really beautiful with the nude color. And then it just goes like that. Ah, so I'm really happy with these. Again, I wish that they were an actual matte, but packaging, the way they feel on the lips and everything is really, really nice. The color-coded quads from Charlotte Tilbury. I still have not picked up the green one, the Rebel, and I, they're calling it something else for this collection. I've had several of you tell me that I need to, and I've I've put it into my cart for the Sephora sale so many times and just taken it back out because there's just something about it. I feel like I don't need it, but then you guys are making me want it. <laughs> I don't know what to do, but I do have the other three and I did a look with all of them. So let me talk about each of them and which ones I've been picking up and which ones I have not. The first one is Copper Charge. Now this is the one that I have actually used a couple times. The quality of all of these are beautiful. They're amazing. It's my biggest thing is just that the Celestial Shades are now, I, they're, more, they're, they're just kind of like a metallic. So some people are really going to love that and some people aren't. But quality wise, they are amazing. I find myself reaching for, let me get in my top drawer over here this one a bit more and this is the darling palette and if you look at them side by side there they are side by side this one the copper charge is a little bit darker when it comes to like this shade right here and even the metallics are more intense so if you're trying to decide between the two 
it just depends. Like this one's gonna give you more looks, obviously. The mattes in both of them are amazing. This one, the metallics are a little bit more intense. This one is a little softer, but I don't know. I just use this one a little bit more, but this one's beautiful. So it's like, I'm, <laughs> I have this back and forth with it, but I have to tell you that I do use this one a bit more. And the same thing with Mesmerizing Maroon. This is a beautiful, beautiful palette. I was like, get it open. But this one I have not reached for again, and it's because, again, top drawer, the Instant Eye Palette. I feel like I just gravitate towards these tones just a little bit more, like these pinky tones. And there was this one is a little bit more on the maroon, like burgundy, plumish kind of vibe there. Hopefully you guys can see that side by side. This one's just, it has a, more of that purple hue to it than this one does. This one definitely has more of that pink and peach vibe going on. So beautiful palette. Again, all of these work phenomenally well. It's just that I just gravitate towards these just a little bit more. But my favorite one, this is special. This gives the most beautiful blue smoky eye. What is it? It's the super blue palette. Now I haven't picked this one back up, but it's just because it's a blue palette. It's not anything to do with, you know, it's not something I'm gonna pick up or I'm not gonna use. This is just more of a specific type of palette, something that you're going to grab for a specific type of look. And granted, you can use this for softer looks and this and that, but typically I don't use blues as much as I do other shades, but I love this one. This one is my favorite out of the three that I got. And so if I was gonna say that you get one that's the most special, this one, if I was gonna say get one that you're gonna use the most, I think that it's gonna be between Copper Charge and Mesmerizing Maroon, but I would say Copper Charge. Then we have these pigments from NARS. These are the Power Chrome Loose Eye Pigments, and I have the shade Castaway, which is, oh, these are pretty. Let me swatch these for you. They are loose and they are messy, so you do have to be careful. Some people are not going to want to deal with these because they are kind of crumbly, but in person, I'm telling you, they give a, an amazing effect on the eyes. I, I have too many tattoos for this. <laughs> Let me put it right here. Let's see, you see that? Uh, it's like it's got this opalescent reflect to it that is so pretty. So I have used this one again, and then I ended up trying this one out. This kind of looks like what I have on my eyes right now. Isla Marat. Isla, Isla Marada, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I have played with this. I didn't wear it out, but I did play with it at night and I just did a look just to see if I liked this one or not so that I could update you guys, and I do. It is one of the more flaky ones. Ah! So you have to be careful, I and mean, they say on the name, it's their loose pigment, so you have to be careful. If you can see, it's kind of like that slightly crumbly type of look, but then they melt in so beautifully, especially if you use your finger. That is the blue. Then we have Shockum. Let's show you this one. I think this is the one that most people are going to gravitate towards. It's stunning on the eyes. But then the one that is the easiest to use in my personal opinion, and I did a look where I just used this and this one. <sighs> This all on the outer corner and then this blended in is just like a faded kind of look. Oh, it was so pretty. It was so pretty. I wish I had actually did that one on camera. I added in uh, what it was Whipple Flash from Linda Hallberg Cosmetics. It was gorgeous. This is the one that isn't as crumbly as the other ones. It's just a little bit more smooth. This is the shade Stricken. Put it right side. There you go. So you can see, hopefully you guys can see like this one's more sparkly and this one's more metallic, but they're all amazing. You just do your makeup after you do your eyes it, because you're gonna get some fallout. But if you use your finger and really press them in or use them wet or anything like that, they will be less like of that kind of texture. And on camera, when you've got lights reflecting on something that has texture, it looks more textured than what it really is. I had so many comments. I did a, a live with Kel on Instagram and everybody was asking me what was on my eyes. And it was these. And I still am so glad that I got them. I think they're beautiful. If you want something that's not gonna be this crumbly, I would say go with the Hourglass or even the Marc Jacobs. These are definitely a little bit more loose than what the Marc Jacobs one is. And then the Hourglass is more of like that cream pot type of shadow with 
Sparkle. <laughs> I have already done an update on the bronzers that I tried, the matte bronzers from NARS. They were in my fails for the month, so in case you haven't checked that out, make sure you check that out. I'll just let you guys know that that is the bronzer that was breaking me out all over, but I'm not going to get into that because I just literally did the video on it, but if you want to know more, yeah, it broke me out and just check out that video. All right, next. Chanel, I know you guys have been asking and wondering what do I think about the new version of the Chanel powder? In case you didn't know, not only did Chanel reformulate their Soleil Tan de Chanel, they also did the same thing with their Loose Natural Setting Powder. Before there was three different shades and there was three different translucent shades, and now they don't say translucent anymore. And I picked 30 because that's what they said to pick because that's what I have in my original. It's translucent 2 or natural 30. And I picked up again the shade 30. And this one, when I first put it on, I didn't think it was darkening up my foundation. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. You know, it's fine. But I think once it actually settled into my skin and meshed with my foundation, it did end up darkening it. But I am just gonna put that to, I need to go down a shade and I would have to test out the number 20. However, I don't feel like this is worth the $50, 50 or 52, something like that. I don't feel like it's worth it anymore. I loved the Chanel powder. It gave this beautiful finish to the skin. It was very velvety and it just made your skin look so smooth. And this powder is very nice. I am not saying that it's not. It feels nice on the skin. It's very lightweight. If you are normal, combo, or dry, you might even like this if you are oily and you don't want something too thick on your skin. But for me, it's just kind of average. So I don't feel like spending 50 bucks on this powder. I don't even know that I will end up going through this one. I It's not something that I want to use. I just have so many other powders that I feel like look better. Not that this one looks bad. It actually impressed me. I thought that it was going to make me look dry and I thought it was gonna be way darker than it what it ended up being. Like I said, it did end up darkening up my foundation. So this would be my summer shade and I think number 20 would be better for me right now. <clears throat> I've been talking too much. <laughs> With that being said, I don't think it's a bad powder. It's just not one that I'm gonna to gravitate towards and it's not one that I will repurchase, not even to try out this the other shade. I, I just don't want to spend my money. Next up, we have some highlighters I need to update you guys on. And the first one is from Dominique Cosmetics. And these are called the Skin Glosses. I have Golden Dew. Let me show you Golden Dew. I still have... <laughs> Still have glitter on my hand. This one's pretty light. It's kind of like a champagne, like a white gold champagne. And it's going to work on fair, light skin tones. Even me, it worked really well on, and I consider myself to be a light medium. Now, I finally did use this one here, which is the one that I was really excited to try out. And this is Glossed Peach. It looks so dark. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but it looks really, really dark and I was concerned, but when you melt it into your skin, you see that it's not as dark. Oh, and what I have liked to do is actually take them both and mix them. And I like to use this brush, hold on. My Sonia G Mini Cheek, because it gives like the perfect amount of pressure. So it's not gonna move around your foundation or anything like that. You can use a sponge as well. That is going to give you like a little bit more opacity to it. But I like to just kind of go back and forth and buff it into the skin. And it's really, really pretty, more natural. And it gives you a natural kind of, I don't know, like a sheen to your skin, almost like you have I don't know, it's not like a, it doesn't look dry. It looks like you're glistening in the most beautiful way. So I'm really enjoying these. I feel like I need to put them up here because right now they're in my back drawer and unless I think about it, I won't use them. I've been using my La Mer one to death and that one is sold out. <laughs> I actually went to get a backup of it because I love it so much. Let me show you which one I'm talking about. I have been using the cream side of this the most and I, I just didn't think I would like cream products like this. And I have really been gravitating towards them, especially up here on my cheeks. I just think that they look so pretty. But this one is sold out. However, if you're looking for something that's gonna give you this type of effect, of this cream right here. The Skin Gloss from Dominique Cosmetics is such a great option. And plus, 
She has two other shades as well. So there's four shades to choose from instead of just having the one. The next highlight is from Becca, and this is the Becca Ignite Liquefied Highlighter. This works so nicely on top of makeup, but I have to tell you, what I have been really liking this for is underneath. So I will take just a little bit, and I mean, this is a lot. These are so pigmented. Like they are pig. Mented. <laughs> when I apply them with a sponge, I have to go on and then take the other side of the sponge that has no product on it and go around the edges and it just buffs out really beautifully. But taking this and putting it right here and then going just very sheerly over top with your foundation or concealer and then just lightly putting something on top to highlight, it gives such a beautiful look and it doesn't move throughout the day. It's gorgeous. So that's been my favorite way to use this. But if you want something intense and it, like just, oh, this is it. It is so, so, so pretty. I will warn you though, if you don't like fragrance, this is pretty intense. I feel like I'm immune to fragrance now because I, I think I smell it so much that it has to be pretty potent for me to smell it. And uh, this definitely, definitely has a scent to it, but I like the smell of it, so it doesn't bother me. I'm just letting you know in case scent bothers you. The last thing that I have that I want to update you guys on is actually a brush, and it's inside of this little baby. This was in my favorites. It's the Sigma Quarter Rosa palette. I'm not gonna go over the palette. I love this palette. It's beautiful. I wanna update you guys on the brush because I didn't use it because I forgot to wash it. <laughs> My friend Mary let me know, glitzy fritzy, she let me know that this brush needed to be washed in order to use it because of the first time it can be a little bit stiffer. And so I did, I actually went and washed it and I used it, I've used it twice, I've washed it twice, and it's actually holding the shape very nicely. It doesn't feel as stiff though. It's much softer. I don't want to mess up my eye. <laughs> it's much softer and it blends out very well. It did fluff up a little bit. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it fluffed up just a little bit. Not too much to where you're going to end up. I don't know. Do you guys remember the MAC 224? And it could be just like a little bit too flimsy. This one's not. I feel like this is such a good deal to have the dual sided brush and the palette. This side of the brush is really nice as well. And I pulled out this. This is one of the Anastasia ones. These brushes are good, but I find them to be kind of itchy. So this is the Anastasia one. And the bottom part is a little bit stiffer as well. So I just want to compare for you guys. The Sigma one is just a little bit longer. It is not scratchy at all. And then the bottom, again, it's a little bit longer and it has a little bit more give to it than what the Anastasia does. So I just wanted to let you guys know that this is a good quality brush that comes in with the palette. It's a usable brush. A lot of the times they just aren't usable. And these, like I said, these aren't bad. It's just, I find that this one is just, it's a little scratchy. When you first get it, it's soft, but then after you use it a couple times, it's a uh, it's a little itchy scratchy. So, but anywho, that is it, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.